the Cutlass Red. It's been out for a few weeks. People have been looking at this ship, reviewing it, but it has been holding some secrets in the deep lore that may make it one of the best FPS mining ships and one of the best mining support ships in the game. So first, the Cutlass Red looks great. And I know a lot of people have commented about it, but I think this red color really makes this ship fantastic. Now, it is pretty dedicated to this medical role, at least from a look standpoint, because it says rescue on the side. But this ship is shown to have some abilities beyond its current functions of serving as a respawn point and being able to heal in the bed. So what are we talking about here? Well, come on, Spock, if you got the answer, tell us. Now, all ships have some sort of scanning ability. In our previous video, I'd pointed out where the Reliant Sen and the Terrapin were able to scan and find both FPS mineables and the regular mining rocks. It's also been rumored that the Reclaimer could, although I haven't been able to confirm that myself. And I do like to confirm things for myself. I find your lack of faith disturbing. When I took this ship out and used the scanner, it wasn't long before, bing, there it was. It was picking up some objects on the ground. Right away, I was able to fly over and realize it was picking up the mineable rocks that you'd be able to normally get with a prospector or a mole. Now, this is a medical ship, it's not a mining ship. I couldn't mine them, but the fact that this sensor, the fact that this scanning could pick up these rocks was huge. This opened up a whole avenue of gameplay for this ship and in conjunction with other ships that got me really, really excited. After I saw that it was picking up the regular mineable rock, I kept scanning. And sure enough, in no time at all, I was able to pick up some of the FPS mineables as well. I suspected that it could, but again, before I report anything in my videos, I do like to see it for myself. It was also a little disturbing that I actually couldn't mine with this ship because, wow, I was finding some really great rocks on my experimental run. So sure enough, I got out and naturally, I like to mine. So I picked up at least the FPS mineables that I could. Another little hot tip that had been passed on to me by the good people of Reed was a quicker way to be able to actually pick up these FPS mineables. I had been tapping F and picking them up and stowing them away in my backpack one at a time. I was informed that if I picked up a rock just to carry it, use the carry function and held it in my right hand, then tapped the F key to grab the next rock, it would quickly pick it up and shove it away somewhere in my backpack. They also said it was best if you were in the squatted down position to do this, but I didn't find much of a difference between being in the squatted position and just standing up and doing it the same way. And it was a little bit faster than doing them one at a time if I was holding a rock in my right hand. This actually did work for me. It seemed like I was really able to snap up these rocks a little bit quicker. There was one catch though, and you'll have to decide for yourself whether it's a good method for you or not. We've seen a lot of times it'll do this double animation where it'll grab the rock, put it away, and then go to grab a second rock that really isn't there. When I was holding a rock in my right hand, if it did the double animation and I wasn't patient and waited to see if that second animation was gonna activate, if I tapped F while it was doing that little second animation, then it would lock my character up in a rather undesirable way. I couldn't pick up any more rocks, and what I wound up having to do is take the rock in my right hand, place it back down on the ground, maybe even pull out my gun or something, put it away, try to pull up my Moby glass before I could resume this sort of quick pickup method that I had before. One time, it even scared me a little bit because I got so locked, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't pull up my Moby glass. I couldn't pull out my gun. I couldn't pull out my mining tool. I finally did get myself unstuck by going back inside of the Cutlass Red and getting in the pilot seat 
At that point, I heard the familiar clunk of a rock hitting the ground, and I knew it had somehow released the rock, and it did. It freed me up from this frozen position that I had. So there is a risk there of getting a little stuck in some way. I don't think it's an intended animation. It's a little bit of a byproduct, probably even a little bit of an exploit, but it's not a terrible one. I usually don't like to talk about exploits, but this one might be one that you can judge for yourself. Just be aware that it's probably not an intended function to be able to left hand pick up at a faster rate than just with your other right hand. After I picked up these rocks, Another thing occurred to me about this Cutlass Red itself that really might make it a fantastic mining ship. It has four regular beds for people to log out of the game. It also has these other two beds that can serve as a respawn point. So imagine getting four people together in a single Cutlass Red, all with the intention of going out to do mass FPS mining. You go out. You find a cluster of rocks, you drop a guy off. You go out to find a second cluster of rocks, you drop a second guy off. By then the first guy's done, you pick him up and you go find a third cluster. And you keep rotating around, maybe one dedicated pilot and three guys out constantly mining. You just do this mass group FPS mining activity and then when your backpacks are full, you drop your boxes inside of the open space inside of the Cutlass Red, you log out, and you continue on the next day. You could theoretically spend several days just mining and stacking those FPS mineable boxes in this ship. Sure, it's risky that something could happen, there could be some weird game crash and you just lose it all, but so is running a caterpillar full of Laranite. Those beds, along with a bathroom facility that they put in the ship, make it ideal for long-term gameplay. It has a shower, a toilet, and a sink, something to accommodate the hygiene needs for the survival mechanics they'll have in the game. The scanner also introduced one other aspect as a great support ship for mining. Imagine going out and you've got the Cutlass Red and a couple of moles maybe or a small fleet of prospectors. Everyone's out mining. You can use the Cutlass Red as a nice respawn point in case something bad happens, people crash out of the game, they can spawn back into the Red and then resume their mining activity in their prospect or mole. But now the Red can also serve as a kind of advanced scout ship. While the prospectors and moles are busy nomming up rocks, this red can be out there searching for the next great deposit. Maybe you can drop someone off there to serve as a bit of beacon in the game. And then when the molar prospectors are done with the last bit, they don't have to spend a lot of time searching for the next rock. That's already been found by the Cutlass Red. They go straight there and start mining that, while the red goes and finds the next great patch to mine. I wondered if this scanning ability might have just been a mistake that CIG put into the ship. But at least in the immediate, I decided that it wasn't. I mean, think about it. You've got the Reliance Sin. It's actually a science ship. It's not really necessarily there to find mineables, but yet it does. You've got the Terrapin. It's an exploration ship, also meant to find things, but not necessarily mineables, but it does. And if that Reclaimer can also find them, as I've heard reported anyway, it's a salvage ship. It should be scanning to find salvage, but yet it's finding FPS mineables. So the fact that a rescue ship that might have to also search for bodies, wounded, whatever the case might happen to be, it might also be able to search and now pick up these FPS mineables. Perhaps in the short term, this is just a bit of a stretch. This might not be something that would persist long term for this Cutlass Red. But right now, it can do it, and I'm pretty happy about it. It gives it a role not only as a standalone ship for FPS mining, for solo or group play, but it also gives that nice scout ship scanning ability for the prospectors and the moles. That is amazing. You combine that along with the healing ability and its mobile spawn point, that makes it a dynamite ship that can multi-crew, hold a bunch of people. I just can't say enough about how excited I am about this scanning ability. But I'd like to know what you think. Do you think this scanning ability should not have been given to the Red? 
Do you like it, at least in the short term, as a temporary ability? Do you think it's just a bug? Does this make you want to cash in your Cutlass Black and maybe get a red so you can do FPS mining? I'd like to hear from you. To celebrate having a thousand subscribers, this month I'm giving away a C8X Pisces with lifetime insurance and a game package. So if you've been wanting to get into Star Citizen, this is a good giveaway for you. It's been donated courtesy of Player Algae and in the name of the Reed organization. Reed focuses on science, logistics, and engineering, which includes the trading and mining we have right now, future salvage, exploration, and the science mechanics, that sort of thing when it comes into play. It's a laid-back organization that also has a focus on collaboration and has a defense division to keep those logistics of trading and mining and so on safe. If you would like to enter, just type the keyword Pisces into one of the comments below for the month of January. If you got anything out of this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be talking to you later.